Well, it's 8 a.m. I'm gonna go check in right now, see if I can get unloaded. They have trucks in the dock right now that weren't there when I got here. Um, I'm still kind of waking up. I only got about five hours of sleep. Um, I just want to check in. Maybe they'll call me. Maybe I can sleep for a little bit longer. But yeah, I'm going to check in an hour before my appointment, see if I can get out of here because I have another delivery today at 10 in the morning. I went the wrong way. I don't know where to check in. So yeah, kind of a nice chilly fall morning here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, I actually had to sleep with the bunk heater on for the first time this year. So yeah, let me find this door. Well, we were told to back into an open door. Um, there is five receiving doors here. Three are uh, taken. So I can either choose door five or door nine. I think I'm gonna take door five. Um, yeah, they said they're gonna load me right away. And I'm still gonna have to wait here like an hour if, if they unload me right away to get some hours back. But I'm gonna back into the dock now. I'm finally unloaded here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, now I gotta get down the road to Green Bay, Wisconsin, which, like I'm not a fan of Green Bay. There's only two reasons I go to Green Bay. One, to watch the Minnesota Vikings destroy the Green Bay Packers, and anytime somebody gives me money to go to Green Bay. Those are the only two ways that I go to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Not, you know, it's kind of a trashy little town. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just not a Green Bay Packers fan, and like I said, the only reason I go to Green Bay is A, you're gonna pay me to go there, or B, the Vikings are crushing their Packers. on this side closest to the building here because there's two other trucks two box trucks on the side of this building um, definitely a tight backing situation well there you see the truck right there fit like a glove I know that's dumb, but you know what? This is my vlog, so I can say dumb things in it. Um, this is my last stop for today. I am in Green Bay, Wisconsin right now. Uh, the one downside is I think I'm gonna have to back out of here. I don't think I have enough room to turn around or even swing the trailer. Actually, I might have enough room. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna deliver this load, then find a truck stop and take a three hour break get more hours back and then I think I'm gonna start heading to Minnesota um, I don't deliver until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning but maybe I can get home tonight spend a night at home before I make the delivery so yeah this is where I'll leave you for now I'll pick the camera up later so this is what I'm dealing with the trucks right here I cannot go that way I can pull up here and I know I can back around the corner right here and back all the way down here because I don't think I can make the corner with that post there, but we'll find out. Okay, if you can see the truck right there, 
and then there's the post. I think I'll be able to make the swing and get the truck out of here. Minnesota. I'm still like four and a half hours away, but um, yeah, maybe I can get home and walk into the house at like midnight or something like that and maybe have my dog attack me. Um, but yeah, I figure I'm going to get on the road and at least get, you know, worst case scenario, I can park at my parking spot that I have and wait until the morning and then deliver in Roseville. So yeah, I'm going to get on the road right now. Well, it's 9.30. Um, I stopped here at a Cenex that has like a little family restaurant connected to it. I'm going to go in there and eat dinner and then I'm going to probably shut down for like seven hours. Um, I'm super tired and my delivery is not until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, I already told the wife that I'm tired that I don't think I can make it all the way home tonight. Cause I wouldn't get there until like, you know, probably after midnight, like 1245, one o'clock in the morning. Um, and I just had something else come up, even though I'm supposed to be done tomorrow, I got some maintenance issues with my truck I'm going to take care of. Um, I'm going to go on vacation after this and I figure I might as well spend another $6,000. Um, so I got to bring my truck back to Wisconsin tomorrow and drop it off at the shop because I don't trust any of the shops near where I live. Um, another shop was recommended to me. However, when I got a quote from them today, they're like, they're like almost $4,000 more than what the shop in Wisconsin says they would charge me. So yeah. I'm gonna have a busy day tomorrow, so I might as well sleep now. I'm sure you can tell by like my eyes, like I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into this restaurant, see if I can get a burger and fries and then go to bed. Well, it's 5.45 a.m. Um, I just got some fuel, ready to go, fuel rested. Um, <coughs> took an eight hour split sleeper. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna get to Roseville, Minnesota. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah, don't wanna lie. Well, I'm checked in, I'm in a dock, uh, two and a half hours before my actual scheduled appointment. Uh, they've started unloading me. So yeah, this is gonna end this multi-stop LTL reefer freight from the Atlantic seaboard to Minnesota. Um, it was a really good trip, to be honest. Um, today is Wednesday, the load started on Saturday. Uh, one downside, it's freaking cold back here in Minnesota. Uh, it's like 24 degrees right now. Um, I'm not used to it. I haven't acclimated to winter weather yet here in Minnesota. So yeah, I'll break this load down. Next time you see me, I'll kind of break down this uh, LTL reefer freight load. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I figured I need to be in disguise. Because it's criminal. It's criminal what this LTL reefer freight's paying. All right, let's break down this criminal LTL reefer freight load that originated Saturday on the Atlantic seaboard and finished today in Roseville, Minnesota. It had four stops on it for a grand total of 1,333 miles. I had one stop in Ohio, two stops in Wisconsin, and one in Roseville, Minnesota. Um, this load 
gross was $5,250 to the carrier. Now I work at a 90-10 split carrier, so I keep 90% of whatever the truck generates. So my portion of that is $4,680, which is a rate per mile of $3.51 to me, the contractor. Now let's talk about some costs that I had on this trip. I ended up purchasing 205 gallons of truck fuel for a grand total of $1,025. I purchased 33 gallons of reefer fuel, because this was a frozen load, minus 10 degrees, for a total of $195.22. And I also purchased DEF on this trip for a grand total of $25.24. So if you add up all the costs, veritable costs that I had on this load, you get a grand total of $1,245.46. So if you subtract that from my gross of this load, which was $4,680, you get a grand total of $3,434.54 paid to me after veritable costs on this load. Now, like I've shared before, I'm not a big fan of like big gross numbers. I want to know what my profit margin is. So if I take $3,434.54 and divide it by the gross that I received for this load, which was $4,680, that leave, and then multiply it by 100, that means this load generated a 73% profit margin. Yum, 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 yum. I eat this stuff up all day, people. Um, I believe right now in the freight market we're in, having customers is essential. Like, it's absolutely essential. Um, I don't think I could do any better playing the spot market right now. And the thing that I'm working on is consistency. I kind of want to know what I'm going to generate every single week, month, and so on. And I'll say this, lately by hauling customer freight, I am staying in the 70 to 75% of profit margin on every load I haul. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was informational. I hope you like my vlogs of LTL reefer freight. And until next time, you know what it is. Say it with me, Bellox. Keep on trucking.